Hello everyone, I got a delivery from scrapbook.com the other day and I just have to share how fast and fabulous the shipping was. I ordered it on April 2nd and it arrived here April 10th. And the reason I haven't taken a video yet is because I've been sick with some kind of a flu but now I'm feeling a little better so I thought why not share my little haul. So first of all, I decided to try these rings from the Memory Keepers. I don't have the cinch, I have the uh, Bind It All, but I really like those silvery rings and they have such great size. They have quite a great section of sizes. So I've got these two, see how they work. So I really like the look of them. Then I just got a pack of scotch tape for my ATG gun. Always good to have these on hand. And then I added bits and pieces to my stash, as one does regularly. And I got the uh, Nuvo Glimmer. And this is in clear, I believe it's called. Oh, Moonstone. Of course, much prettier name than clear. Oh, I just love this. Okay, I'm not going to open that now, but I just love it. It's beautiful. It's got really nice glittery parts in it. Oh, pretty. And then I got some of the sparkle dust. I got this one in and I just love these from Tonic. They're really really fine. This is Paradise Blue. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful colours. And this gorgeous red. Oh my gosh. Brassberry Bliss. Absolutely stunning colour. And then this one, oops, seems to be big glittery parts. And this beautiful pink. This one's called Rose Quartz. Gorgeous, beautiful colour. So, <laughs> bit of glittery parts in it, but thank goodness each of these are in a bag, so damage won't be too much. And then I finally got a, or decided to get my hands on one of the Congo de Nines stamps. I've never tried stamps from Congo de Nines, and these turnabout stamps just look so interesting, I just had to give them a go. And I really like this one because it's in two parts, so you can use either the smaller one or those together to make a large one. And you get how to center and all that. So I'm really looking forward to trying this one out. Really excited. And then scrapbook.com has come out with several exclusive items, well, adding to their exclusive collection. And they have this new tape. And I am a sucker for good tape, so I decided to buy this in uh, in the quarter width to give that a go. And also they have these in 8.5 by 11 sheets. So I got a pack of those. And you get five in each pack. Let's just open one up. And it's really thin. I love the large size. And I believe you just peel somewhere. <laughs> there you go. I'm really looking forward to all that is sticky. 
I'm looking forward to give that a go, especially when it comes to mini albums and stuff. I'm looking forward to giving that a go. And then they have chipboard in 8.5 by 11 size. I have loads in craft or just regular, what's a naked chipboard in 12 by 12. So I thought I'd give these a go and bought these in white. And these are not, they don't have a white core. I thought they would, but they haven't. But anyway, that'll work. And then I decided to give the um, black one to go as well. And I really like that they have a black core. So it should be great for binding if you want to use those rings. So give me these a go. And then stamp chamois. My older one is completely... It's just, well, not working anymore because I've had it for ages, so I decided to get another one. And then I got some Prima goodies. I got this flower so that goes along with the uh, Love Story collection. Beautiful colours. Don't think there's a name on these. Well, I have links to everything below, so. Beautiful flowers. Then I got the 8x8 collection of the uh, Love Story collection. does not have the foil so it's just paper beautiful subtle patterns beautiful I really like these hearts really delicate and you have this gorgeous collage page I really like that one and oh, those feathers are so pretty and then this is a die cut page really lovely and stunning background. I just adore this one. Oh, gorgeous. Then we have another collage page. And this one is absolutely stunning. Love these colours. Beautiful. And the, oops. And this gorgeous page. Really like that mannequin. Pretty. And a stunning background. I really like that one. It's really pretty my kind of pattern. And the last one, die cut page, but it has this gorgeous background. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful. And I also ordered several of the uh, 12 by 12 papers from the uh, Love Story collection. I love that because they have the uh, pink foiling. Absolutely stunning. I just love it. This one's just beautiful. Gorgeous. And they have this beautiful background. And it's die cuts and you have foiling on three of these. Yep, yeah, believe. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful. And that gorgeous background. And this fantastic collage page, and you have foil here and there. I really like that. Beautiful. Really pretty. And that stunning background. Love it. And there's another die cut page, and it has foiling on what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. This would look great on a mini album or cut out. And of course, this stunning background. Maybe I should have got two of these. Oh. Ah, well, remember next time. And this gorgeous collage page. And you have foiling a tiny bit here. And I just love that the text here is foiled. That is really pretty. And then the gorgeous feathers in the background. So that's my scrapbook.com haul for now. And like I said, I just adore this stuff and the shipping was super fast fantastic really happy with that 
So I think it's open by. See you later.